Capital in the 21st Century by Thomas Piketty Capital in the 21st Century by Thomas Piketty is a book about the causes and consequences of economic inequality in the world today and how it has evolved over time. Piketty argues that economic inequality is not a natural or inevitable feature of capitalism, but rather a result of specific historical and institutional forces that have shaped the distribution of wealth and income. He introduces the concept of the capital income ratio, which is the ratio of total wealth to annual income in a society. Piketty shows that this ratio has tended to rise over time in many countries, and argues that this trend is likely to continue unless there are policy interventions to counteract it. The book also explores the history of inequality in various countries, including the United States, Europe, and Japan. Piketty argues that there have been times in the past when inequality was lower, such as in the mid-20th century, and that policies such as progressive taxation and social welfare programs played a role in reducing inequality during these periods. Piketty also addresses the role of globalization and technological change in shaping inequality today. He argues that while globalization has contributed to rising inequality in some countries, it is not a main driver of the trend. Instead, he attributes the rise in inequality primarily to changes in the way that wealth is accumulated and inherited. The book also discusses the relationship between economic growth and inequality. Piketty argues that there is no inherent trade-off between these two objectives, and that policies that promote growth can also reduce inequality if they are designed to do so. One of the key policy recommendations that Piketty makes in the book is for a global tax on wealth. He argues that such a tax would help to reduce inequality and generate revenue for social programs, while also encouraging more productive and efficient use of capital. The book has been subject to some criticism, particularly for its use of historical data and the assumptions underlying its economic models. Some critics have also argued that Piketty's policy recommendations are too radical or unrealistic. Despite these criticisms, the book has had a major impact on the public debate about economic inequality and has been widely discussed and debated by economists and policymakers around the world. Overall, Capital in the 21st Century is an ambitious and thought-provoking work that seeks to explain one of the most important and challenging issues facing the world today. Whether or not one agrees with all of Piketty's arguments and policy recommendations, the book is sure to stimulate further discussion and research on this critical topic. Like and subscribe for more content.